You got your radio working. Yeah, we got the radio working. Would you like some tea or coffee or wine? I'm having a beer. Okay. Have a seat. Hmm. Just clean the uh, mildew off the uh, trim on top of the roof, that metal roof. Are you just pausing it? And uh, I guess as I was getting water on the roof, I had your ladder, and the ladder just slid out, and the feet slid out. I went down, hit the roof, and slid off the edge of the roof, and landed in a forsythia bush. Wow. Was it scary? Yeah, it was scary. But I didn't really get hurt that badly. Mm -hmm. Is the scratch from the the roof or the bush? Probably the roof. And I hit the roof, and I'm pretty bruised up. You should take better care of yourself, Mike. Yeah, I should get another job. <laughs> it's a sign. <laughs> that it's time. It's time to quit painting. Yeah. Start doing uh, auto detailing. That's a good job. Yeah. Start working on coal mine. My whole painting career flashed in front of my eyes. Wow. What was your first book job? <laughs> <laughs> Could have been hurt bad though if you landed on that little fryer over there. It's interesting because my first painting job. I was working, I was painting a funeral home. No, no, I, I, uh, in fact, Joe worked on that job with me a little bit. Where's the other guy? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of fucking outfit is this? <laughs> One guy working on this huge house. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get it finished? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. When was that? Oh, it was before the flood. <laughs> that would have been probably... <laughs> 91? Oh. No. You haven't been painting very long then, have you? Very long? I mean, I thought maybe eight years? That, that is a long time. But I, I thought it's maybe. It's a long time to hold a paintbrush. It's a long time to hold a paintbrush. I thought maybe you would have been. Pull in the bread and butter. <laughs> I spent a year doing it. That was plenty for me. But I thought maybe it would have been 12 or. Another bottle? Yeah. Two bottles. The There's longer you do it, the harder it's to get out of, because you lose the brain cells that enable you to make <laughs> enable you to make you. good decisions. Yeah, from the view. Yeah, painting fucks you up. <laughs> it does. It does. I, would, I would come home loopy. Duncan, really? I didn't understand what Duncan's problem was when he got back from from Dixie painting that job he had in Georgia for a long time. Dixie painting. <laughs> yes. And then, and then I started painting. Um, doing odd jobs for my parents and other people, and I understood that it made you crazy, <laughs> makes you insane. It's a pleasant. It's a, it's fun. Yeah, it's fun. I never fell. My first. I've never fallen. My I've been on a. Fall. I've been on a forty-story ladder. Forty-story. Forty. 40 foot ladder. Four story. <laughs> you have a, a four piece? story ladder. <laughs> on top of a truck. You know, painting, painters and fishermen have in common. What? They tell a lot of stories. Yeah? 
There are lives. Every day is a new so story. So there I was. So there on I was. This 40 on story this ladder. 40 story ladder. <laughs> Barney Frank. With another fish? Barney Frank. Oh, another story. With another story. Barney Frank. What's Barney Frank? The openly gay house wow. member from New Bedford. District. Right. What kind of fish did he catch? He caught a, an eel. <laughs> really? How big was it? Oh. Yay? Fish? We didn't even have a fishing pole. Really? Spears? Yeah. Nets? You clouded the minds of the fish. <laughs> <laughs> We were in this little stream, but then my my uncle, well, not my real uncle, but my mother's sister's husband. That would be your uncle. <laughs> who recently divorced my aunt because, or she divorced him because um, her son is gay and... You couldn't deal with having a gay son. Mm. Good for her. But I was there with my brother, and uh, we looked in this little stream about as wide as this deck here. And there that's was your brother who can do no wrong? My brother. He could do no wrong. The Messiah. <laughs> And there was this huge, huge rainbow trout in this little stream. And we figured that if we got into this stream, I swear to God, that we could, we could, uh, we could push this rainbow trout, it was 20 inches, over 20 inches, down into the shallow water. And then just grab it. <laughs> Throw it on the shore. Take the shit out of it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, who is this here with? I was with my brother. Okay. How old what did that have to do with your aunt and her gay son? I was just making reference to which aunt and uncle this was. Okay, gotcha. Go ahead. How old were you? Thirteen, fourteen. But instead of just hurting it down, we had we had uh, hand lines with hooks and salmon eggs, <laughs> and we figured we could throw them in and, and catch this this fish. But it, this fish was so freaked out, and we ended up throwing these lines in and pulling the, the hand line up, and we ended up we ended up snagging this fish. Where? On his body? Under his chin. Oh my god. And we caught it and brought it out and walked proudly down back to the gas station, which my uncle owned. It was an Atlantic, an Arco gas station, Atlantic Richfield. My uncle Sam, big fat guy, homophobic. Homophobic fat guy. So there's this big fat homophobic. So we're walking down, and all these cars are beeping their horns as we're carrying this fish down. This fish is, you know, as long, half as long as my brother, young bird. Who could do no wrong? Who could do no wrong? <laughs> and we actually had an argue, an argument on whose fish it was. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god.